Hi everyone, it's me Brenda from Brenda's Knots and Loops. Back again. I know I had a video yesterday, but here I am again. I've got some um, new bags of yarn. I came today and he's supposed to come tomorrow and I was going to have a, a whip it, um, which is uh, WIP, which is a work in progress. Um, whip it Wednesday, you know, kind of a fun thing, but uh, I can't stand it. I got to show you this new yarn I got from Mary Maxim and uh, I don't know. And a mystery bag. I don't know who from. So, um, hit Hershner's. Hershner's. I can't wait to see what's in that. But uh, first, um, if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see, which is uh, um, Facebook. Um, dot com backslash prim girl two anyway i saw on there and i i reposted it i hope the lady doesn't mind i share it anyway she had a uh, tape measure she painted it white and on it she had it so when she measured her kids she wrote on there what their sizes were and their heights i mean their heights not size but i guess it'd be size two anyway on on the white and uh, with a black marker. I thought you could have color markers. She had trees and sick people and everything kind of really cute. So make sure you go to my page. It's on my home page. I re um, posted it so you can see it. It's really, really neat. Um, but I thought you could do it for other things too. Um, a friend of mine, she said, oh, I wish I would uh, knew this earlier because her ki her grandkids are are teenagers well why couldn't you do this as a teenager teen um you know prom night and put the date and uh and just have you know their their life and stuff so they would have this because you could have it not you know not in inches and feet and everything but why couldn't you do it it as um months and years and things that going on in their lives and then you could paint this part real you know neat and uh and have uh, a tape measure for each kid you know i thought that'd be a good uh, neat idea anyway up to you whatever you think but i thought it was pretty cool so that was my that's my little sherry for today um my arts and crafts thing that it's really neat but she only did it it painted it in a, in a it looked like a off-white or white and then i used a black marker and i thought i would use colored markers and color the trees in but so let's see what's in this bag this looks interesting oh this is interesting let me get what is this the kit? Open up my trash can. For the I my oh it is. You know I joined the uh, Mary Maxim's um, Crochet Club of the Month, and I was just because uh, I don't know I just thought it might be fun because I've never done anything like that before. So um, comes in this cute little plastic bag. So. And it's only, I paid $13.49 for this. I hate to tell you, the uh, the yarn's worth more than that. But look at the, the pattern I got. I got that. Is that a poncho? No, it's a shawl. Beautiful shawl. Beautiful. I might have to make that. And then they gave you another pattern for this shawl, which that's pretty too. I don't know which one I'll make. I like them both. I like them both. And they gave me, maybe they gave me enough for both. Because look at this. Because this would look for the blue one. It's a uh, roll with its sparkles. 
coat and Clark. Ah, they make thread. I know they made yarn. Destiny is the color. It's a four weight. Very soft. You don't even feel the sparkles. Don't feel the sparkles at all. Which I that's because because uh, if you have because some you uh, wear against your neck, you feel the sparkles and they're kind of scratchy. But these you don't feel the sparkles at all, which is nice. You gonna tell me the yardage? Yep, in the front, five hundred and sixty-one yards. Wow, wow! And then the other one got two of these in nap ready. Two of these, same kind of yarn. Roll with the sparkles. Is that the? Nope. That's not the one I got. So it looks like I got enough yarn to make both shawls. Oh, I can't wait. That might have to be on the next project. Um, yesterday I showed you the uh, um, yes, yesterday I showed you uh, a jacket I'm making or a cardigan, whatever you want to say uh, out of this marble it's called marble yarn. Hold on. Let me see if I, I got one more scheme. Let me show it to you. I think I've showed it to you every day this um, lately. Um, this. And yes, yesterday I had about this much done. I have up to uh, above the armpits, almost to the ar um, arms on top. So hopefully by the end of the week. If the yarn comes, because I don't have enough to do the sleeves. I had to order more yarn. As soon as it comes, I'll post it and get it done. Okay, let's see what else is. What else did Mary Maximum send me? Is this Mary Maximum? Sure is. Oh, Lord above. It's a heavy one. I have to get a pair of scissors for this one. Yep. I got a hole, but... I got, it's hard to pull with through teeth. Oh my gosh. What all did I get? Nah. You know, I've been telling you about these free bags. You got to get, you don't really have to buy anything. So you get these bags for free. And but you're tired of me showing it to you. It's uh, let me see. How much did I tell you yesterday it was? $32.99 bag you can get for free right now. You have them on sale for $9.99, $19, I think it is. And now, uh, I never had this yarn before. I'm zooming up and look at it. Of course, all this, I still got. Oh, that, it's not, it's nice. It's not like super soft, like, oh, butter soft, but it's nice. It'll make a nice a sweater. I like it. It's 100 grams per skein. Like I know how many yards that is. Collar 2363. That tells me a lot too. 100% acrylic. Can't pronounce it. It's in a different language. A lot of the stuff on it is. Can't even tell you what the weight of it is because it's in a different language. Cracks me up. It's this way and that way on the, on the package. But right here in English it says machine washable. So that's but isn't that going to be a pretty sweater, this green? So, um, I had this all ready, and of course I bumped it. Nope, that's the club. Well, maybe I'm not going to be able to tell you. Yes, I, oh, nope. 
I ain't gonna tell you how much I paid. Unless it's unless I can find the invoice. There's the invoice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Invoice. Okay, this is the Nava Novo Nuvo. Send me a piece of paper with nothing on it. That's nice. <laughs> oh, there it is. Two dollars and fifty cents. So I bought I got that. I got enough for a sweater. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. What in the world is this? Natural. Natural alpaca. Wow, that's soft. I mean, like, like butter soft. I mean, that is like a cotton ball. No, softer than a cotton ball. Hand wash in cold water. Lay fat to dry. That's might be fine. I make a really pretty. I don't know whether it's a sweater. I really think I bought this to make a um, a bag, but. 262 yards of acrylic apaca and vescues. Sand doom, it's called. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. For apaca, $4. Cheap for apaca. Cheap, cheap, cheap for a paca. And this must be my mystery bag. No, maybe. Could be. Maybe not. But more, there's more alpaca. This is not my mystery bag. More alpaca and this pretty blue, blue color. Isn't that pretty? See the flakes? Those flakes are going to be pretty. Then, this is interesting. Wool ease. I've never bought wool ease before. And I wanted to see. I'm going to make a bag out of this. It's Coney Island is the color. I'm going to make a bag out of it. It's um, a number six, 87 yards, which would be fine. They show a hat. See the hat? The hat's cute. But I only bought one because I've never had it before, but I wanted to make, I wanted to see what it'd be like to make a bag out of that. And then, oh, losing it out of the bag. Put it back at the back so it stays clean. I got this Winnie the Pooh. I've seen it everywhere. It was next to nothing. It was a dollar. And I wanted to see, because I've seen it every place else. And look how thin that is. Can you see how thin that is? But it's fuzzy. Fuzzy wuzzy. It's fuzzy. And I thought it'd be neat uh, Santa beards or gnomes beards shade up. So that's why I bought that that for. Anything else in the bag? Oh, I got this. This was on the clearance. Sorry about the crinkle. Just think I'm crinkling uh, fall leaves, okay? Anyway, it's a uh, it says it was $12.99 which I did not pay that for it. Paid five dollars for it, which for it matches the other bags that I've gotten for free. So I could have got and it's plastic inside. So I guess if your uh, ink pen leaks, it won't ruin the thing. But I got it to put um, when I um, I'm starting anyway. Um, put my projects 
that I'm working on, which I have quite a few projects going on at once. Um, because I get bored with the same stitch. A lot of them are same stitch over and over and over and over and over. And after two or three hours, you get tired of doing the same stitch constantly. So um, I've been, I need to start. I watched these uh, two lovely gentlemen. Can't remember who, Ray and can't remember the other guy, Dave, I think, on uh, YouTube. And they're knitters. But they have all their whips and bags each different one and i'm like i need to start doing that and then i'm going to um my needle the hook that i'm using put it in this little bag because i have been putting my needle my needle brenda in like the hole don't worry that's not an ink pen it's a poker but i put it in the hole which is not really a great thing to do because when you pull it back out it hooks the yarn and you have a mess and then you can have puke vomit whatever they call it puke i think they call it anyway so i got this little bag because it was the cheapest uh, bag i've ever seen but i think since i've seen it i wonder how much pencil bags are but i got it because it matches this this and I thought I'd put one of my projects in this since I've got so many of those now. Um, but I thought that'd be a really neat idea. Maybe not. But I'm going to try to, to do that. Because right now, I got them in a... Everything's in a great big plastic... In one of those plastic baskets you can get at Hobby Lobby, you know. When you first walk in or to the right. Um, I got them all in there. Piled. You know, the yarn and the, it's not always the hook, because I use the hook for another project, because I do have a lot of hooks, but not that many. And then uh, the pattern, and then another project on top, and then they get all combined and tangled, and it's a heck of a mess. So I need to start putting them in project bags, because it's not like I don't have bags, because I don't have a lot, but I was at, do I have one in here? No, I don't. No, I don't. Anyway, they have these vinyl um, canvas kind of bags at um, um, Myers, and they all uh, grocery stores have them anymore. They, they don't have the cheap cloth ones anymore. Oh, like this one. See, that's cloth. And yes, I do have a project in, in this. This is my one I take when I take my mom to the doctor but they have these real neat wish i had one here um they're like a dollar a dollar 99 that are great to put you know your groceries when you're hauling them in but um which i always forget to take them um and i always have their real cheap plastic bags and the little cheap plastic bags do not work for projects I've tried that. It doesn't work. Um, the needles and everything fall out of them, and it's just a mess. So I might use some. Ooh, 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 ooh. Isn't that gorgeous? Browns and golds. There's some golds in there. I bought this I bought this it was a uh, cheapest place I could find Hershner's anyway for a shawl that I found and I think the shawl's in the other room because I'm working with it it with in another the patterns in the other room because I'm working with it with another um uh, if you look at my uh, video Monday, you'll see that I showed you, which was yesterday, um, that it's in um, whites and then goes on to pinks purp and then eventually purples. But the original pattern is this. So I'm going to make it again, and I'm going to ask them if I can show you guys how to make it, make a video. So I don't know if they'll allow me, but I'm going to ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. 
So I got enough to make that shawl, which calls for four skeins. As you can tell, the skeins are different. This one, so you can see the gold, more of the golds in this one than you can the browns in this one. Same, same yarn, just uh, how it's wound different. So that pattern called for four. It's a large scarf, very large, gorgeous though. And I like the scarf that scarf so much. I wanted to make it in this too. This color. It's kind of a dark burgundy and kind of a silver. Can you see? My camera's not focusing. Sorry. I don't know if it'll focus. But. So, I got it to make probably a different shawl because after I make two of those one shawl, I'm not really good at making too many of the one project. More of that same ones. I think that's the same colors. Isn't that gorgeous? That's going to be a beautiful shawl. And that's all I got. I believe in that little um, bag. I'm going to give you a big bag for um, wow handling charge. They caught they charge me for handling and shipping eleven ninety nine. Then of course taxes. I did get a discount though, but wasn't cheap yarn. But oh well. And then they always send you their mega sale, which is always, um, it's never yarn. It's always stuff that I don't do, which is fine. All right. That's all I got to show you today. Um, probably I was going to have one tomorrow, but I might skip tomorrow and um, see you maybe uh, Thursday or Friday when I get that uh, cardigan done, unless I start on that shawl. <laughs> can't do that i got other stuff to do right so well i hope i'm so glad before i say anything i'm so glad you joined me today and uh, i hope you have a blessed day and we'll see you uh, soon bye-bye now